Hi there folks and welcome back to the channel. Um, it's January the 19th I believe it is. Um, I'm out today doing a camp. It's going to be the first camp of the year and I'm doing a solo. Um, weather's forecast to be quite dry so that's a good bonus. Fingers crossed it stays like that. It's a little bit chilly but not too bad but quite misty. And I've just arrived at me woodland permission. Um, and I'm just listening to how still the winter sounds are. You can hear the stream trickling by just down there and the birds. Just so still and peaceful, beautiful. So I'm going to set my hammock up and we'll have a little look around. Um, I'll show you um, what I've been getting on with, myself and Claire. Um, we talked about it in my last video, um, well we've managed to get up here a couple of times and we've uh, got a fair bit done on the composting toilet. Um, I was going to do a long drop but I went against that idea and decided to go for a composting toilet so once I'm set up and sorted out I'll take it along and we'll have a look at that. But for now it's time to get set up. But This is just beautiful, just so peaceful and like I said I'm here on a solo, so be nice and quiet. Right, I better get me backside into gear and get on, get set up. There we go, that's me set up, that's home for the night. I'm quite happy with the way I've set this up, the configuration I've used on this one. That gives me, uh, I've brought in at the back and open at the front and down at the sides as you can see. That gives me plenty of shelter from uh, the wind. It's a 4.5 by 3 metre tarp so I've got plenty of coverage if we do get any wet weather. But yeah, I'm quite happy with that. What I'm going to do now is sort out and get myself a brew on because I'm ready for some coffee. Uh, Left the house quite early this morning, just had a chance to get a quick cup of tea, so I'm about ready for a brew now. But uh, yeah, I'm enjoying it. Nice and quiet. It's nice just listening to the birds and nice and peaceful. But yeah, I'm looking forward for this. Really looking forward for this. Well, I'm going to get on and get a brew sorted. We'll take a little look underneath my tap. Obviously, we've got the hammock, we've got the DD under blanket. I've got my Arctic sleeping bag inside here. Lo I've got that up, set out already, lofting, so it'll be bang on for the night. Got a dry bag there full of my nighttime kit. Warm hat, snood, warm socks, that sort of thing, in case the temperature drops. We've got uh, my cooking set up there. Got pots, pans, got my ridge monkey, got hand wipes, fire kit, water fuel for the stove and the stove. I'm going to get a brew on now because I'm absolutely gasping for a cup of coffee but just look at this. Absolutely amazing. Stunning. Uh, we've got a boil, so I'll uh, get myself some coffee made. I am absolutely ready for this, I'm getting hungry now as well, because I skipped breakfast this morning. Shouldn't do it, but I do. Hmm. Just being sat here, relaxing, waiting for that to boil. Um, 
watching a couple of tree creepers on some of the trees. I tried to uh, get the camera and film them, film, film them, but uh, they were a bit too quick and flew off. So oh, would have been nice, fantastic little bird. I, they fascinate me the way they just crawl around the trunks of the tree. So I'm just getting some to eat. Just got some uh, vegetable samosas. Just have them, something quick. Me coffee. You have probably seen in some of my previous videos these bags that I use. And I just fill them with ground coffee. Basically it works just like a tea bag, but coffee. Just leave it stew. Very nice. Leaf don't want a leaf in my dinner. Delicious. Be nice warm but do what you do do what you can do, can you? Alright, I'll finish up here and then what I'll do I'll show you is what I've been or what we've been on with in here. Um as I said before, we said that we'd do some work and get this uh, compost and toilet sorted out. But I'll show you that because it's uh looks pretty good like I'm quite pleased with it so I'll finish up here and we'll get on with that there we have our composting toilet as you may have seen in the last video the one just be, uh, after Christmas that was just uh, the three sides and a little bit across the top there um, since then we've uh, been put the roof on as you can see can we get up here and see the roof we've got a roof on door on and inside all sorted out to be used as a toilet there we go no compost and toilet Obviously it's not being used yet. We've even managed, or I've even managed to uh, get some brackets up there to uh, hold some saws for processing firewood. And it just consists of um, a big plastic drum, a big plastic tub, and I've put some wood cap pellets at the bottom for, to start off with. All this lifts up so we can lift that out and empty it. Obviously it's not being used yet. <laughs> We've created and put a door on as well. Yeah, it's spot on. Perfect. Perfect little place in the woods. There we go, I've been gathering some firewood. Just gonna start processing that. The fire pit just there. Eventually, I think, we'll look at um, building a stone one, like a keyhole type shape, so we can uh, drag embers to the narrow side and cook off the embers, and a wooden uh, reflector. But that, for now, is serving its purpose. We've uh, got Wilson making an appearance again. There's Wilson. Right, what I'm going to do now is, uh, before I start processing this firewood, I've got some uh, wood, some timber, uh, what I brought with me from another woodland that I use. Um, they're uh, doing some work in this other woodland, so there's plenty of trees getting felled. So I managed to get some materials from there, um, and I'm going to make a tripod, a tripod seat. So. I'll get that sorted before dark and I can cut that up while it's getting dark. Then we'll get this fire lit. My beard's absolutely soaking with condensation and dragging stuff about because the air is quite chilly and the mist's coming back in again. Don't know if you can see it. We'll have a look up at the top just now and we'll see. But yeah, it's coming on nicely. 
there we go you can see it's a bit misty some low lying cloud that looks stunning still I'm just like on the edge of the woodland right now you can see my setup just there Right, I'm going to go and get on and make this seat and then sort out some more firewood. There we have it, there's the materials for making me tripod seat. We've got uh, three poles, we've got a shorter pole that'll be a cross member, we've got some cordage and in the bag we've got uh, some camouflage ripstop material that'll uh, make, that will be the seat. Uh, that'll be tied up at the top and that pole there goes through at the bottom of it. I've made this seat in previous videos and used it in previous videos no, I'm not going to bother showing how I make it and do the lashings and stuff like that in this one because I've done it before already Right, I'm going to get on, get cracking on before uh, it gets dark because we must, a couple of hours of light left Right, I'll get on There we go, we've got the fire going nice It's burning away lovely that temperature's starting to drop, we're starting to lose the daylight um, but uh, it'll be nice getting ready for sitting down in front of that fire and have another cup of coffee I think I've got my chair over there, just a simple tripod with a cross beam and like I said before it's the uh, camouflage ripstop fabric that creates a seat, it's not bad at all nice and compact to carry in, just a little bit of material, I'll leave the rest of it here but yeah I'm going to get some more coffee on and just uh, chill by the fire for a bit and then get some more firewood processed that's nice and warm that now already but the smoke's got us early right it's time I got some food on I'm uh, getting a little bit hungry now so I've got some, uh, oh, nearly lost it all. Some onions, mushrooms, some chorizo sausage, um, peppers, some tomatoes. Just putting all that in. Me uh, ridge monkey. It's a Christmas present off my son. I'm over the moon with it. Give it a bit of a spray with some garlic oil. Right, put that on there, we'll leave that for a while, let it cook off a bit. That's cooking away nicely. I'm ready for this now, like I'm getting quite hungry. Something quick. It's only like say a bit of chorizo, onion, mushrooms, some peppers, some tomatoes. Let's have a check on that. Oh, that's looking delicious. That's pretty much cooked that like. Another couple of minutes I think. And get it plated up. There we go, there's my tea. Just a bit of chorizo and what have you. I'm gonna sit back, enjoy that, throw some more wood on the fire, crack open the beer, and just uh, enjoy that. And then later on, if I'm still, if I'm peckish or out like that, I'll put some uh, pork steaks on. But we'll see how I get on with this. Fire definitely needs some more logs on, so I'll sort that out now before I start eating.
Good morning. I had a fantastic night's sleep last night. I enjoyed the whole evening, just chilling by the fire. Uh, it was really nice and relaxing. I've been up and about this morning, gathering some sticks to get the fire going, to uh, make a cup of tea and get some uh, bacon on the go for breakfast. And just pottering about the woodland, listening to the birds is absolutely amazing. It is so, so tranquil. I don't know if the uh, camera's picking it up, but just so peaceful. Like I say, I've been gathering sticks to get the fire going. Got the fire going there. So let that burn down a little bit and get some, uh, get the kettle on and get some bacon on because I'm a little bit hungry. Sun's out today. Complete different day today in comparison to yesterday. Yesterday was quite damp, um, quite damp, uh, chilly, but today is absolutely beautiful. Now I've got the kettle on, I've got the uh, some bacon in the Ridge Monkey pan. The bacon's smelling absolutely amazing, making me even more hungry. These are uh, Ridge Monkey pans are absolutely awesome. Great bit of kit. Well, that bacon's cooking spot on. Get some more sticks across the fire there. Keep that going. So we're getting a boil over yet. Take a look at the bacon now, see how it's doing. There we go. How oh, amazing is that sound? Can't beat bacon sizzling away. Now I'm going to give that a couple more minutes. Get it flipped over. Drag that. So the handle doesn't get too hot. Uh, we'll leave that for a little minute and then uh, we'll get some more put in. Yeah, we have it. First batch of bacon. Another load in. Drink the tea. Oh. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. What better way to have breakfast? Stunning. Well, I'm going to carry on eating this and cooking that. And drinking that. Just taking a look at all this blackthorn, which produces the slow berries, what we use for making slow gin. You can see, uh, I don't know if the camera's picking that up. The bud's starting to show on there. It won't be long before these are uh, covered in tiny little white flowers. This s side here will be just a wash with the little white flowers on the slow, on the blackthorn. And they're actually edible, they taste a little bit like almonds. But uh, I'll show you is that once uh, these are absolutely covered, when, uh, I can see several bottles of slow gin being make, made the back end of this year. And you said next year then. <laughs>
how stunning is that view? Really is beautiful. Beautiful day, sun's out. Quite warm. But I think tonight will be a chilly night, like it'll be a lot colder than it was last night. Last night wasn't too bad, it was quite thick cloud cover, which probably kept the temperature up a few degrees. It was nice and warm by the fire. Right, I'm gonna head back to camp. There we've got camp just there. Just heading back to that now, obviously. Fire's still smouldering away a little bit. Now, as you can see, I've cleared away any wood off the fire. Just a couple of bits there smouldering away, but I'll put a little bit of water on there shortly before I start packing up my hammock and what have you. I've uh, shifted the firewood I had. I'll show you what I've done with that. We'll just go over here and cross over the water. Don't have a great deal left, but it's a little bit to start off with. What I've done, I've stacked the firewood underneath this holly. Obviously a heavy green, it gives it some shelter, so it should stay a little bit drier under here. It is fairly sheltered. Um, I would imagine it'd have to be really heavy rain to get through this. The ground looks quite dry under here, so and the leaves and everything are quite dry. So well, that's going to be where that firewood's getting left. Head back over to camp. Uh, I'm going to make a start dismantling my chair, get that put away. Make sure this area is completely tidy. Then I'm going to start taking my hammock and everything down, get that put away, and uh, head off home. But yeah, I'm going to get on with that now. Right then, folks. Unfortunately, it's time for me to go home. I've uh, let the fire die out. You see that? I want to keep that ash um, for the compost and toilet to help break everything down. I've tidied away. All my kits just there. That's where I was set up. I'm going to turn my head on. I've thoroughly enjoyed it. It was absolutely amazing. I really do enjoy doing solo camp. It's uh, got my beads all wet. Um, I really do enjoy doing solo camps. Nice and peaceful. I enjoy doing camps with the lads and everything as well. But uh, the two completely different things. But yeah, it was just nice. It was just so chilled and so relaxing. Once I sorted the firewood. But yeah, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. By all means, please give it the thumbs up. It'd be much appreciated and please share. And we'll see you on the next one and stay safe. Bye for now, folks.